So I want to talk today about what I call the German paradox, or as I was taught, das Deutsche Paradoxen. I want to talk about privacy and publicness, and for that, to illustrate that, I will use penises. After all, it's Germany. So, I married into a German family, and my Schwieger Opa, my wife's grandfather, uh, used to say to us all the time, and say to me all the time, you shouldn't tell people that. No one needs to know that. Does that sound like your Opa? Now, I think it's part of the German culture, and you will tell me in a few minutes where I'm wrong, but I think this, this link to privacy is somehow innate in the German culture, and I don't think it's just because of the Stasi and the Nazis. My German Opa left in 1923, and it was in his soul as a German. And so I think that we find in this some really interesting ways to view the current discussion about privacy, and I think we talk about privacy too much, and I want to talk about the benefits of publicness. So, Germans and privacy. Street View has caused great controversy here. Have you all seen this video of Google Home View? Okay, so I won't bother showing it to you. For those of you, especially my American friends who have not seen it, uh, even if you don't speak German, you'll get the joke. Go look for the, for the Google Street, uh, Home View video. So Street View has been very controversial here in Germany, so much so that the Google Street View car was sabotaged here. Um, I don't think it was just a random crime. German privacy laws uh, are, and, and privacy discussion is coming into play with both Google and Facebook. Uh, a German minister sent a letter to Facebook recently complaining about the privacy policies. Google is under constant fire. So I see this constant discussion about privacy here. But then I went to a sauna in Germany. And, and as an American, I was a bit surprised. It, this is for my American friends, is it mixed? Yes, of course it's mixed. It is men and women together, naked, in the sauna. What's the big deal? Right? And I learned from that that Germans care deeply about the privacy of everything except their private parts. And last night, as I was down on uh, Rudi Dutschke-Strasse, I found a better illustration that I inserted this morning for that. Uh, by the way, I saw, I, I had this great contrast in media worlds in Germany yesterday. I went to visit Kai Dieckmann, whom I know, and then I went afterwards to the Tats, where this is. Um, uh, he's quite proud of this. Kai is. So, but, so I'm not making fun of this in Germany, I'm quite the contrary, saying that I think there is a lesson to be learned for the rest of the world about this German attitude, and I want to try to dig into this. So what it makes us ask is, why is the private private? What should be private? Right? So if you go into a German sauna, I've got a dick, you've got a dick, big deal. right? That's not private. To an American, that is shocking. I was at Davos. I'm, that's, I'm sorry, I just did place dropping there. But I was at Davos, and I went into a sauna there, and uh, there were a bunch of sweaty Russians in there with me, all naked. And the door opened as I was standing there naked, getting out of the, of the douche. And um, this woman opened the door, saw me, shrieked, and closed the door. I, I hope it wasn't just me that caused this. And I heard her husband, they were Americans, obviously, and the husband said, no, 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 honey, it's supposed to be like that. Yes, it is. And she came in wrapped in her towel so tightly she could not breathe and, and looked up the whole time in the sauna. And, and I think that he had problems. But So each of our cultures has something different that we consider private. The Scandinavians have what we Americans think is this nutty attitude where they publish what everyone makes and what they pay in taxes. They are transparent to that effect. That amazes me. The Dutch are famous for leaving the curtains open on their windows, right? 
The funny thing about this is, though, I went to Google Street View to try to find an image for this slide. I couldn't find a single Dutch house that had the, window, the, the drapes open. Every one of them was closed. Maybe it's because of Google Street View. I don't know. We in America make crimes and criminals public, right? In, in the UK and Europe, that's often protected. 